in every movie from the 1980s, what's the one thing that the very rich and very powerful all have in common? They each have their own video surveillance system right inside their house. And now that I've got my own video surveillance system, maybe I'm rich and powerful. Uh, yes, I'd like to request, nay, demand that you lower the interest rate on my credit card. Well, I would like to know how many other customers that have 39% interest rates also have their own video surveillance systems right inside their home. Did I mention mine's wireless? How did I, well, I paid for it by putting it on my credit card. I don't care if I went over the limit. I have my own video surveillance system right inside my home. 38% you say? Done deal. That's how you do it. So this is The View Personal Video Network. It's $299. You get this base station here. You actually get two of these cameras and four of these magnetic mounting bases. So the cameras just uh, hook on by the power of magnetism and they can be attached to the wall. Uh, there's a uh, adhesive or you can use a screw or a nail. Uh, so you get four of those so you can move the cameras around. And setup is real simple. You just plug the base station into your uh, router. It's a hardwired connection. And uh, power it up. Make sure you have the internet light here. And then uh, this camera is ready to go. You hit the sync button on top of the unit here. And then this guy will flash and let you know that it's ready. Here's my first camera. Here's my second camera. Just click the play button. And you watch everything as it happens in real time. Uh, maximum resolution is 640 by 480. And you, uh, you can record. You have two gigabytes of um, storage, and there doesn't seem to be a limit on the amount of time you can record. I recorded a 30 minute video and downloaded it. It was under eight megabytes. The only problem is you need to keep the web browser open and recording uh, while you're gone. You can't close it back down or it'll stop recording. You can play back the recordings from each of your cameras simply by dragging the actual camera into this timeline here. You can also share, you can share your live streams with anyone and you can also um, upload clips to YouTube. You can save the clips to your desktop, delete them, and you can email video clips. The website's pretty easy to use. I wish there was a mobile version. There's no way to check your video streams on your phone. You need to have a flash compatible browser in order to view the videos. So yeah, it's small, it's easy to set up, but the real draw here is the whole wireless thing. So I'm going to take the two cameras down. I'm on the third floor now. I'm going to take one down in the, into the creepy basement in the building I live, and I'm going to take the other one outside. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a camera outside as part of the, uh, as part of the surveillance system. I mean, they, they should have lowered my rate to 37 percent. If they would have known it went outside, I should have said that. Got a nice shot down the alley there. Okay, so pros. Easy to set up, easy to use, wireless. Cons, no sound, can only watch one feed at a time, no motion-based recording. And the price is eh, kind of somewhere in the middle. It's not wildly expensive, but for $2.99, you're not getting a true surveillance system in the sense that if someone breaks into your house, you're going to be able to catch them. That's the View Personal Video Network, and I never really end these reviews with any... How do they normally end? Hey, yo, trendy hip kids, I'm Doug Alma. Check out Techland.com for more tech news. Peace! Is that good? Is that a good ending? Hey, Chuck E. Cheese, Techland, let's check it out. Hey, hip hop. I need to be more hip to connect with the younger crowd. I need to be like, hey, Techland.com, yeah, check it out for more tech news. Yeah, Peter Ha tattoos.